We didn't grab that the last time. I just kept going. Oh, man. This is... If we're really going to 100% this, which I think we're going to have to give ourselves an escape clause in case it's just taking too damn long. Like, this is going to hurt progress big time. I'm fully expecting to be stuck on that fucking marauder. How did it not glory kill there? Oh, what did we get touched by? So, I'm gonna tell you that the slowdown rune fucking sucks in Nightmare. Because there is no such thing as 1 HP in Nightmare. 1 HP is, is about 30 HP in Nightmare. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it, and I'm just gonna have, uh, I don't know, more time in the air or something. I don't think it was early on. I think it had to be later. But it's gonna be super difficult to backtrack this time around because of the, uh... The map is all gray because I'm not traveling, you know, I'm not running through any of this this time. Almost looked like there was a secret in the middle there. Okay, I guess we're not supposed to ride through there. As much as this should be a level where we're farming the hell out of some one-ups, it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna YouTube this backtracking either. I'll just start off a new episode where we're beyond all this. We're flying through this now. For what it's worth. Basically a free 50 ammo power up. See the X button works fine there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over the slow motion rune and nightmare. I feel like it's not near as good. 
If you're gonna die, you're just gonna die a nightmare. That's what it feels like. Which means if you're not doing everything basically damn near perfect. There's actually two doors that open up there. Toy there. It's, it's all the way back to the beginning though. Imagine if you could just farm up sentinel batteries. Oh, fuck. Why did it take us all the way back here? Oh, it's right next to that area. All right, here's where I believe we probably left the toy behind. Surprise, those missed. Ah, uh, yeah. I just definitely on the next runes. This is this playthrough. I am not using the, the slow mo one. We're gonna find out. We're gonna figure one that's better. Can you use cheat codes? I don't know. If you, if we can, that would be a huge help. I, I just don't know. I mean, I think we could, I just don't know if it would be like, it doesn't count anymore. But if we can, yes, that'll be a massive help. God, Cacodemons hit so hard. We built up so much health right there. We had basically full health and armor, and all it took was a Cacodemon hitting us. Ah, fucking high shot. Damn it. Okay. We're gonna try to crawl over every little corner here and see where this toy is. I'm sure it's not down here. We already got what was down here. What's really weird to me is it isn't on the map. You know? There's no question mark, there's no even indicator. And I don't know why. Okay, prepare for fucking tentacles. suck. Even with the auto map. There is a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the map and clear the path forward.
I mean, we're like able to sprint through these levels pretty good now because we know just exactly where to go. It's another advantage, but I still really don't want to like play through the game twice on Nightmare just for the sake of time. Which is basically what we're doing at this point. It's just like an area we didn't explore very well. Man, they, they really don't want you to go into those walls. Here's where we thought we finally figured it all out. there is one of those walls like we just experienced that look that isn't like super obvious at first but you're 100% supposed to punch through it and there's probably some stupid ass little toy hiding behind it Decent there, honestly. I came in with full health and full armor, and it was still enough. I just, there's no room for fuck ups in Nightmare. First time we've actually been able to like the slow mo actually benefited us there. That's the first time I was alive long enough to see it. He was in down but not out. It's not for very long. are pretty tough, but I had a really easy shot on that guy. They're tough to headshot, I mean, they're not tough enemies. Oh, 
by name, which is Blurg. Just thinking, where the hell happened to Adam? I feel like we haven't seen Adam in the last few streams. Wonder if he ever beat Doom. Oh shit, we're out of ammo. Girl.gg a couple weeks ago. It seems completely possible. Uh, we're totally beating this level again, but God, I don't know. Without the areas being green. Show us where we've actually explored. This is a little bit tricky. Obviously, I haven't been backtracking at all. Just r bum rush the level. No, there was that little area down here. It was the secret. Does that look like an area where maybe there'd be like punch this wall out? That's where we just got done fighting. a lot of areas that look like something you could grab onto and latch onto and find a secret within and they're invisible walls. Alright, prepare for tentacle porn. And on principle. sake of our continued grind. Go ahead and get that first headshot thing unlocked. It's entirely possible this area that I thought was, like, useless. Oh, that actually killed both of them. That's some caco demons? Pretty much one hit, you know. We were at full health with a little bit of armor, and it bit us one time. And that's all she wrote. Oh, all right, well, still useless. That was kind of a waste. I should have probably just done a glory kill there. I don't know, stream. You know what I should do? 100% what I need to do. So we're not stuck on this all day, every day. Oh, uh, doom. Eternal. Zeltia. Collectibles. Ugh. Locations. Uh, the Arachnotron, we definitely got that thing. Cacodemon. Don't know that we got the Cacodemon. Oh, it's pretty far in. Yeah, 
This is what we missed. This is 100% what we missed. We gotta get all the way to the Betrayer. Alright, that's what we're gonna have to do from now on. We're gonna have to get to the end of the level. One guy sends taxis and like 12 tweets for him to do stuff in Minecraft and he gets on stream and cheers 50 bits at a time to <laughs> do. Hey, it's a way to make a living. Yeah, so we're gonna have to play through the level and then when we unlock the fast travel, pop open a quick guide. And that's what's gonna prevent this from happening throughout the playthrough. We should still be able to 100% it that way. I have to. Okay, we have to meet the betrayer, which is a little bit further up. Then once we get this, that should be it. We can just quit. Finally go to the third level, and we'll have the first two missions 100%ed. Then we should have time to beat one more mission today. Oh, we didn't grab the dash. That sucks. Oh well. Picking up that armor is something, but you just die so quick <laughs> in this that the only thing that really matters is hitting your shots. Hitting your shots and doing the correct things. We don't even need to go over there. We already have the auto map. It's not worth the tentacle porn. I don't believe we've met the Betrayer at this point. Oh, swing and a miss. Forty more to go. At least we're gonna get that through this. Oh wait. We never did this. Is that we still have to find the toy though? But we found a new little area. For what it's worth. The only thing I really am messing up, since we are doing some backtracking, is once again, I'm not farming up one ups, and that would really benefit us. These things inevitably get harder. Yeah, man, Kaka Demons are ba almost basically trash mobs, and the way that they've balanced them out is if you don't get a hold on them, as easy as they are, you will be punished. They will mess you up. need to go there. We just need to get to the Betrayer.
Sometimes just slamming into the wall does it. Okay, so when we get to the betrayer... Oh, I gotta check this real quick. Right after... Do, 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 do. Uh, this thing. After you leave his lair... Okay. Right after you meet the betrayer. After you leave his lair, make your way to the top of the stairs. You'll jump a small gap leading to the next area. Instead of moving forward, turn around look into the pit behind you. Okay. Alright, I think I have an idea where this is gonna be. This will be what we'll do though. We'll get through the mission, try to get as much as possible. What we miss, we'll get a guide up on. Well, we don't need to see this again. We get it. Oh, he actually just walks around down here. So... I think it's right there. I can't tell completely, but... I know we don't want to leave this area until we've gotten it. It's going to be in this area. Is he just killing demons for food and profit? Dude, I want the hammer. Can we use your hammer? This little area? Not entirely. Okay, either way, it's gonna be before we leave here. He's got cannons on himself. So I feel like once you leave here, you're gone. Okay, yeah, this, this looks promising. Something. Uh, make your way to the top of the stairs, which up a small gap leading to the next area. Instead of moving forward, turn around and look into the pit behind you. Turn around, look into the pit behind you. Here's the stairs. Turn around, look into the pit behind you. As in this place? Like, that, I'm pretty sure, is it. That little area right there. But I see no... I'm worried to leave this area. It almost looks like it'd be like right there. That still makes zero sense. All these boards set up make me want to feel like I could cross them. No? That's not it either. I usually prefer this in video form so I can just directly see it. We're not leaving without this. We've come this far. Yeah, it totally is back there. Now it shows up as a question mark. Why was it not a question mark before you- Yo, yo, Miss Parker! What up, Parker? Been a little while since we've seen you. Been a couple weeks. How the hell are you, Miss Parker? We're trying to 100% Doom Eternal. That might be it over there? That's it. Whew. 
Whew, we did it. That should be it. Oh, we'll probably have time for one more mission. How are you, Miss Barker? How's work? How's Carly? How's your grandpa? How's the new boyfriend? You didn't tell us much about that. We did it. Sweet. I think I'm gonna have time for one more mission. And we'll continue tomorrow, but there, we 100% of two of them. locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. I can't remember how long Mission 3 is, though. So this is our new game plan. We'll run through the level, try to do everything right, and then when we get to the end of it, we have the fast travel, we'll pull up a guide to make sure we get the rest. That's our plan. Thank you again for being here, Miss Burke. So we shouldn't have to quit the mission. If we were going to have to backtrack each and every single one of those, that was going to be pretty freaking painful, and I was just thinking about just beating it. But... Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. I feel like this will be... This is doable. This is doable. Can't unlock these yet? What do we have to do? Unlock the top first? Rise. Oh. Oh, we never did this last time either. Or what the hell that'll unlock? That'll be neat. Yeah. Alright, one more. One more. Try to grip my teeth, do one more. The ice bomb modification the ice bomb. has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. Have you heard of the high hills? I remember this. I remember this 100%. This is an ARC broadcast. A gun. Well, the gun you see in that cage. Survivors operating oh, really? Okay. So again, we haven't experienced yet. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. Arc leadership do the not Doom recommend Slayer. any attempts I mean, to I'm good. I'm just trying to stress this question. I get this job. I'm Please not working this much. Please avoid all contact with Doomguy at this time. Back. While it is clear that the Slayer is Even an enemy of the challenge, care. it is unclear yeah, if he could also work, be a threat to civilians. On the hours we work, I had to cut back, so... Let's watch the extra child care is frustrating. I could be making more on unemployment. Don't you hate that? Playing lots of Animal Crossing and cleaning. Good. Uh... So, stimulus check coming in, though. That'll be nice. And you work at, was it Costco, right? You work at a grocery store now? Something like that? It wasn't Costco, I know it wasn't, but... I know it was like that, like a big box store. Sorry, I forget. I know you're out of the, the pot shop, the head shop, whatever it is. It's a cool looking thing. Oh, dude, they're actually building a Titan in here. One of those mechs. It looks, it's exactly like, uh, Pacific Rim. I really don't want to use the Repertorium. I don't care about the Repertorium right now. What? I, I don't want to do the Repertorium. Winco, there we go. It's an employee owned company and it's, so and it's so upset to be really good, but just go down because I work so hard for nothing. How much are you making an hour? And you're getting what, hazard pay for working at the grocery store? That stimulus, uh, stimulus check will be nice. Do they have like a retirement plan? Uh, and would you ever go to school? Would you want to go to school?
Apparently we don't have any Sentinel batteries yet. We're that early into this game right now. All right, we need to start this level because dinner is going to be wanted by the family and I'm probably going to freaking eat dinner and crash and just like sleep 10 hours and be ready to kick ass tomorrow. Yes, I'm a fucking old man. It's six o'clock where I'm at. And I'm planning on eating dinner at seven in the morning. How the hell do I get out of here? Yeah, I'll kick ass until he shows up. That's exactly right. Take me out, please. I don't want anything. I just want to try to beat level three. Then I'm gonna go get some tacos and fucking watch a movie and pass out. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh, yeah, minimum wage, but not working as many hours as I used to, so no hazard. Oh, just one time bonus. I didn't get because I didn't work enough hours. Ah, oh, that is really stupid. You deserve hazard pay. You know, you're a working class hero right now. You, you, the delivery drivers, the mailmen, the doctors, the nurses, everybody. <laughs> Why a bunny rabbit? Everyone is having to work in the middle of this, like yourself, especially grocery workers. Come on. You know, deserve hazard pay. Demonology today. Mortally misunderstood by the Slayer of the Demon Community and Apology. <laughs> uh, how the Doom Slayer is only a manifestation of your unresolved inner turmoil. It's great. Look, there's a, there is a mech. There's like all these indications that you should totally be able to drive a mech. Look, it's one of Wilson's guitars. There's Miss Parker's guitar. The fetus X. Abomination. Ah, oh, here we go. So hopefully by the time... Well, the goal is by the time we're through with this, we'll have all this full... Stroog. Trans Dimensional Field Study. part-time again you should totally do that you seem to really like that job besides the bullshit that crept up and you're good at it you've you've worked in that industry for like a long time as Parker, so that makes sense you worked uh, in the medicinal stuff right that was like one of your first jobs you have all kinds of experience in there you can see his rabbit hidden somewhere in each level it's funny oh that's cool oh really Walmart gave people $300 damn this is such an interesting time. It's gonna school for something like fun, like culinary uh, pastry, but so frustrating. Culinary school, I got mad respect for culinary school, Parker. And if you love to cook, I think that that would be a great move. I respect the hell out of culinary schools. That's a craft. Um... But yeah, weed store would be good. It just makes me... I, don't, I have a child. I don't have an option. I have no child care even though I'm an essential worker. Right. With the schools closed and everything. Does your grandpa help out? Is your boyfriend considered an essential worker? Oh my god. Wasted. How do I get to level 3? I'm ready for level 3 now. Don't tell me I have to do the repertorium. That what's up? I've got to do the repertorium, punish demons in the prison. Yeah, I got to do the repertorium. It can't be mission three though. All right, I guess we got to do that. Damn it! I don't know if we're gonna have time for mission three. Uh, working at Winko is much hard work in the bakery. Ooh, Dude, you deserve a bonus at Kroger here in uh, yeah Kroger anywhere. They give the workers who work in the bakery and the uh, the butcher, the meat shop. They, uh, they get paid extra. They get paid like a dollar fifty or two two bucks extra on the on the hour. Them, meat, deli, bakery, same thing, and the uh, night shift. Totally deserve extra. Bakery is hard work. Gotta get out of here. I, this armor. Though. Finally, feel like relaxed in the shit. Uh, following 150 pounds of bread all day. I bet you're getting in damn good shape, though. I feel broke down when I can't get everything done right. I bet your shoulders are getting buff, though, Miss Barker.
My boyfriend just got laid off because his electric company because they do those jobs, not commercial. That's my daughter. Like, you're worried that your grandpa might get COVID. But you guys live together, right? Or do you live with your boyfriend? Closed. Either way, you lost all that weight. Now you're working out at the bakery. We'll get through this, Miss Parker. This will pass. This will pass. And things will get back to normal, thank God. Just gotta survive this bad. I'm sorry you're going through a tough time, though. I wish... You know, I'd love to say I know how you're feeling, but... I'm not a parent, but I empathize with the fact that there's a lot of stress going on, but... Good thing is, you got a job, you're making money, you got new boyfriends, you know, you got, you're got you young, you got plans for the future, your daughter's healthy, your grandpa's healthy, you're tossed around 150 pounds a day, so if anybody tries to fuck with you in a dark alley, you'll kick their ass, that's for sure, that, you're feisty. So there is good, and it will pass, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I've been here with my boyfriend a few months. We were looking for a small rambler for my grandpa to move into. You've been living at you with your boyfriend in like a new place? Like you're not at your grandpa's anymore at all? Like I'm lucky to 300 checks right now. Unemployment would be getting 800. I mean, with this going on, get unemployment for a little bit. But it would mean you'd have to quit your job, which would suck. And the unemployment would only last four months. So is it really worth it? To be fair, what you're talking about though is like exactly what was going on with that bill when it was about to get passed. They're all like, oh, it was cruelty. They didn't want to pass it out of cruelty. It was because of exactly that. People were going to make more money to not work than to work. So, I mean, and that's not your fault. It's just how it's set up, and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. For right now, it makes sense. Could your job be guaranteed? I mean, I feel like because you're a mom, Hey, you're actually going to get more. You're going to get 500 bucks because of Carly. You're going to get even more. Oh, you have to get fired or laid off. Oh, okay. Why would you get unemployment if you get fired, though? I don't know. It's just like... It feels like... Putting a two weeks notice in... I don't know. But what you're saying is bullshit, and I completely understand what you're saying and agree with your frustration. Get paid if you didn't work. You're getting paid more if you uh, chose not to work than what you're getting paid to work. Yeah. There's clearly something completely ass backwards in that. Should be rewarding the people working, not the people who. If people can't work right now, that's completely different. But those that are choosing not to work, well, that's. Making more money than you are busting your ass is not fair. It's bullshit. And an extra 140 on my food stamps, that was lucky. Good, that'll help. That'll help. I'm glad to hear that, Miss Parker. I'll try to beat this, and then I'll break for dinner. Hopefully, if I get stuck, I'll have to quit, though. I don't want to go any later than seven, so... I'm... Oh, now we have challenges. Okay. One sentinel crystal, ignite four demons with a single flame belch, destroy an arachno turret. Well, those are easy. I can't remember if this mission's very long or not. I'm not gonna read these because we kinda have to hustle. I don't think we've leveled up. Oh no, we did finally get the suit thing. Oh, we have one point. All 
Alright, not a great start. Remember right, there's a lot of circling back to like the same area over and over again in this level. I think we might get the super shotgun here though. Fuck, we're out of ammo. Damn it. That mine was gonna blow the shit out of him. Um, the only person in the bakery with a school age child, all the other kids do online schools school. right now. I cannot pinpoint his exact location it's, at this time. Every other state seemed to have done, uh, seemed to have done the online school stuff, but... Ohio did it. Ohio just shut it all down. Whoa, that's funny. It's, uh... What's this fucking name? Booger, or... Oh, shit. It's just a fish, but it looks exactly like, uh... I keep wanting to say creamer, but I know it's not creamer. <laughs> <laughs> Screamer, I don't know. The fucking booger guy from Ghostbusters. Does this thing need to be busted? Success. That was a fail. The fish is gonna blow up. Like, I caught it today, my sister bailed at me for watching Carly, I was like, watching five hours. Only five hours. Only working five hours, I too, so I only have 15 points, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we get a verbal win.